Okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Xu Zhiyong. Uh, I'm from China. I work for Open Constitution Initiative. It's an independent NGO to promote the rule of law and the democracy in China. What, how did you come across the fellowship and why did you apply to the fellowship? <clears throat> I'm curious about India. I'm curious about what happened in that uh, another big country. Uh, actually, since I was very young in high school, I, I debate with some um, classmates and teachers about democracy and uh, socialism and uh, capitalism and about the India's condition. Uh, so, and this program can provide, uh, pr provide me a chance to, to visit India and to talk with some experts, talk with some other, <coughs> other people with India. So that's why uh, I apply this program. Have you been to India before? Never. Ah, so this... No, just, this, just last month in this program. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, last month I visited India. Oh, you did. So you went to the your trip, your first trip. Yeah, the first my my first trip. What was that like? Um, I think it's very interesting. Uh, uh, I get much sense of the the country, mm -hmm. and and I find some answers of of uh, find some answers of you know of my my own. Uh, you know, in the last many in last many years, I I just queer about, so why India's economy grows not as fast as China? I mean, in the last many years, and uh, I think in some way I find this answer. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and what are your aspirations towards the fellowship? And what would you hope to accomplish? You know, with the knowing what you know now, with the collaborations and also with the residencies. In, in, be in China and India, what, what do you hope to accomplish through this? Accom for yourself, professionally. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't ca catch up with um, you. What kind of things do you hope to get out of, you know, other than just seeing, seeing places? Um, mm. Is it going to, what is going to do, is it going to help, do you think it's going to help you with your work? Is it a personal um, interest? What, what do you think it's going to hope to do for you professionally or personally? <clears throat> and, uh, I, I think it's, uh, in some way it's helpful for, for my, my career. And I, uh, my career would be uh, you know, as an activist to promote the rule of law and the democracy in China. Uh, so I should know some other countries uh, with a democratic system all kinds of you know, countries India is one of one of the countries such as uh, some developed countries and the developing countries and uh, it will <coughs> be helpful to for me to understand uh, the relationship between uh, democracy and the corruption democracy and uh, uh, economic growth uh, so in this uh, mm, so I think maybe it's helpful for my my prof my career in the future. Okay. Mm. What did you think about the residency so far? This residency. Uh, I'm sorry because my my English English mm, problem. So I sometimes I cannot understand it clearly. Uh, so. That's why you know sometimes I cannot catch up with the topic, uh, but but I think it's it's quite good, it's quite good, and I can I can get some information, get some things from others, other people, especially from India. It's quite helpful for me. And the India fellows have they been able to communicate? Are you communicate? Are you able to communicate with the India fellows now? Yes. We talk about some, uh, you know, cooperative uh, projects and uh, talk about, uh, yeah, we can, sometime we can talk something. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, are there any other questions I should ask? Do you have anything else you want to add? 
Hmm? Anything that you, we haven't asked you that you would want to add? Or? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> you know, why don't we say, why don't you say something in Chinese? Huh? Why don't you say a few lines, of, like uh, some of those things that you just said in Chinese to give you say, if I was a China fellow, you know, if you were talking to me, what would you be saying if I was asked the same question? You mean if you are... Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can say it in, in uh, Putonghua. Yeah. Yeah. You would probably can say it. I really don't know what... Uh... I don't know. I mean, just about the fellowship, you know, mm. about, about your experience here. And what would be easier for you to speak yeah. in your language, maybe? Yeah. Even speak Chinese, I'm... Uh, but I, I really, I, I haven't think it much. I'm okay. sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's okay. It's okay. No, I just, I mean, we got, we got it. Yeah, I mean, we, if we just want to hear what, what you say, and then, you know, and in the end, we'll probably just splice up the interview into little clips, um, you know, for, for as a package. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, do, do you have some other questions? No, um, I mean, um, where, would you, where did you go in, while you were in India? Uh, where, where, where in India? I, I went to uh, um, Delhi, uh, Dalamsala, Amrita, Agra, uh, Mumbai, Nasik, wow. and uh, the last the last day I went to Ganga, the nearest to Delhi. Just I, I don't know the the name of the place, just. Uh, near the just on the bridge of the, of the of Ganga is the nearest to Delhi mm -hmm. so quite many places what I went to about these places? Um, I went to a rural area some some rural areas some cities some you know very very rich place in, in, in Bong, Mumbai and some very poor place in the in the rural area or in the slums I think India is yeah, mm, my impression of India is, is a, is a changing, fast country, and it's from, maybe, I can understand it in the last many years, India's uh, national ideology is, uh, they want to live in a big village, they resist the, the urbanization and the modernization in some way, yeah. but in the last maybe more than more than. 10 years, maybe about 15 years, India changed its, its ideology and imagination of the future nation. And they become to, more and more people come to the city to, to earn money. And they want some more, more com comfort, comfortable life. So that's why their economy grows very fast. And that's why the urbanization is very fast. It's a, it's a change, you know, it's a, it's a changing country, change, change very fast country. Mm -hmm. That's my impression. Mm. And why did you go to see the river? I I think in uh, in my imagination, India is the is a nation with the old tradition, and the center of the culture, the symbol of the culture, is Ganga, in some way. So I just want to find out what it looks like nowadays. And just follow my impression on the on highway. Ganga is, you know, is, is gone. It's almost disappeared in the history. Because, I mean, the culture is almost disappeared. It's disappearing in the history. Uh, and the India's culture, of the, all the tradition culture, is disappearing in the history. And almost maybe all of the nations, all of the cultures, we have the same end. That means modernization. We cannot avoid our destiny, both China and India. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. That's very good.